Most children's dreams that grow up here, they think, oh my gosh, can I become a marine biologist? So if we can help that dream come to fruition, I think that's exciting. We are off to see one of my favorite new listings. You're gonna love this unit. It's completely remodeled. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the American Dream TV. This show is a real show, not a reality show that is based on lifestyle, culture, and real estate. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs. In this episode, we are headed to sunny Sarasota, Florida, and we will be featuring Brandy Coffee. Let's go ahead and get this episode started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. I'm Brandy Coffey, and you're watching American Dream TV. Today, we are about to go see Michael Moore at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. He is going to give us all the exciting news of what's going on with their new facility. I can't wait for you to see it. Welcome to this episode of American Dream TV. I'm Brandy Coffey and I'm here today with a special guest, Michael Moore. And we are at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium and there's so much exciting things going on right now here in Sarasota, Florida. So, Michael, I hear we have a new facility coming. We do, do. So tell me, what is the primary goal of this new facility? Well, Moat's been doing uh, research for about 66 years, and, and one of the things that um, we learned back in the 1980 was that all the scientific work that was being done really wasn't being you know communicated to the public. So uh, Bill Moat at the time said, let's build an aquarium and let's educate the public on all the research that our scientists are doing. So that's how it came about to have an aquarium here. But uh, the problem is we're outgrowing this space because we, we need to move the aquarium off site. Uh, because of our research, we have 35 PhDs and their, their teams. And, and this is a great facility for doing research, being right by the water, but it's a terrible place to come to, to visit an aquarium. So the decision was made going back about five years ago to start to look for another location where we could have better access by the public and we'd free up the space here to bring in researchers because we have researchers from around the globe that are always approaching our CEO, Michael Crosby, wow. and they want to come here and join us. So. Gosh, that's so exciting that they are so enticed by this area and the research going on and they yeah. want to be a part of this. Yes. I think that's really powerful. So tell me how you think this will benefit the community as a whole. Uh, it's a continuation by, by moving this to the, uh, the UTC, Nathan, the Nathan and Benderson Park uh, region. We're going to have greater access for the public to come to the aquarium. And, and we, I mean, we've been you know, educating the public about all our work for, for quite a number of years here, but we're going to have be able to showcase more of our research out mm -hmm. at the new facility, and we're going to be able to expand our educational programs. So uh, I remember being coming here mm -hmm. uh, as a young child in, gosh, probably 85, I think we moved here. And I, these, these are strong memories. Um, I loved science, and I just really, really enjoyed coming here to learn about the research and how to protect the marine life and the waterways that are really important to everyone. So I think that new facility and that location seems to have the access for different children to come from schools. Is that important? That, that's correct, yeah. We have, uh, where we're going to be located uh, when we build the new facility, three million uh, households uh, are, are within an hour's drive of the new location. Uh, and so we're putting in STEM teaching labs. We have three of those. We have four workforce development laboratories. So this is going to be a big help, not just at the uh, you know the K through 12 
level kids, but also, uh, you know, college students and, and you know, kids that are that they're wanting to become, you know, marine biologists, they'll be able to come here too. I feel like yeah. that's most children's dream that grow up here. They think, oh my gosh, can I become a marine biologist? So if we can help that dream come to fruition, I think that's exciting. So, Michael, you have a big role here. What is your role? Uh, my role is, uh, th this is a $130 million project, and we're funding it all through public funds, philanthropy, and corporate sponsorships. So that's my sole purpose. Uh, Dr. Crosby, the CEO, likes to say I, I 24 seven, I live and breathe working on this project, uh, but, it, but it's such an exciting project that it's, it's something I really enjoy. But I'm responsible for getting all the funding in place so we can have this open to the public soon. So that leads me to my next question. Mm -hmm. How can the general public get involved? Yeah. Well, we, this is a very philanthropic region and there are lots of businesses here now. So when it comes to the philanthropic piece or the corporate sponsorship piece, uh, the public can get involved. I mean, we're looking for what I refer to as venture philanthropists to come and help us build this. Uh, and we, we're not, you know, we're not going to do a bank loan. We're just going to have all the money in place uh, and then, uh, th then we'll be able to start uh, construction. Perfect. Well, I would think that most people that live here or are moving here we're a great business state, so I think the effects on the business, right, are very important. You want to keep everything, lifestyle, waterways clean, and yes. just protect your area. You're living here as a resident, and hopefully you have a business here as well exactly. at some point. Yeah. So I think that's important. Now, the last question I have is, how do you feel that Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium has benefited the community as a whole in general? Uh, in general, it, it's on several fronts, I think, that affect the people from this region. Um, there, there's the whole issue of uh, our coral uh, is, is dying, you know, down in the Keys, and, and all of our reefs are, are uh, uh, under duress. The biggest thing that impacts people in this region is red tide. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to go far when we do have a, a you know, Karenia brevis uh, bloom mm -hmm. uh, to be affected by it. Uh, we're doing a lot of research that's, that's trying to figure out how do we mitigate it, you know, make it, make it, uh, minimize it, make it go away. Yeah. Uh, and, and then we're uh, also our aquaculture. We're trying to find ways to, to grow uh, the, what we would normally derive from the sea. Uh, so that's an important aspect of what we're doing. So that's important to the region in that regard. I've been reading a lot about the coral reefs, so I think that's, to me, very interesting. And I think if we can bring awareness and educate the public, even people moving here, I think that's really important. Yes, yes. So many people don't know about, they see us as a, a venue that they, right. they love to come and enjoy what we have to offer in marine life. But this is going to be an opportunity, whether you're you know three years old or you're 90 years old, to come and learn more about what's happening to the health of our oceans. So what I would love to share with everyone and to bring a little bit more awareness is we're going to go over to the site. So obviously we're under construction right. and I know there's a big vision for this with big goals. So I can't wait to visit the site later today with you and get more information, but can you share with me what to expect and what the vision is? Sure. Uh, this is going to be a 110,000 square foot building, three stories tall. Uh, the finished tower that's out there at Nathan Benderson Park, we're going to be about five feet above that, so it's going to be very visible from the freeway. Uh, 43 million cars a year go up and down wow. the Interstate 75. So, so it's going to be an iconic building when you look at the outside of it, the way we're constructing it. It's going to have a million gallons of seawater. Uh, which will we'll truck some in, but we'll make some there, so that'll end up being freestanding. Uh, but what's unique about it is that we'll have we'll have your typical exhibits. We'll have the uh, on the first floor we have the Gulf of Mexico Gallery. Uh, second floor we'll have P uh, Pacific Waters, and the third floor we'll have Florida Waters. So those are kind of the, the gallery spaces. But there's some other unique th unique things about the, uh, the the building that we will have. We'll have a cafe out there. Uh, we'll have a, a multi-purpose space that uh, is something that's needed out in that region. 
region for uh, we could have 150 people for a dinner or we can have a lecture for 1100 so the education aspects are great for us but then on the first floor are three stem teaching labs back to our educational activities that we have uh, that's that's very important to us uh, to be able to have 70,000 school kids from Sarasota Manatee counties participating in stem classes there uh, a little unique feature on the on the top floor up here is uh, we're going to have that's where our manatees will be up on the third floor as well as our otters so they're all moving over but you'll be able to see we'll have a space at the top that this is looking south you'll be able to go outside and look down the rowing facility uh, and you'll see the finish tower or you look off to the west a bit you'll see downtown Sarasota oh, wow. so it's it's gonna be a great great venue there so part of our, our third floor is actually outside uh, this portion and on the north side where we have our manatees and, and our otters uh, one last thing I just close with is that a new exhibit we're going to have that apparently back in uh, 2010 uh, we had a traveling uh, penguin e e yes. exhibition for a while and people just loved it so Evan Barniskas who heads up our aquarium uh, convinced uh, Dr. Crosby to bring in penguins so we'll have about 14 penguins that'll be part of the, uh, the exhibit. Well, I'm super excited, so can we go to the site now? Sure, Great. Yeah, let's head out. Let's go. Okay, Michael, so we're at the site where the new facility is going to be located. So what is going on here? Tell us what we can see. Well, so far you can see that phase one is done. That's the parking lot. It's part of the parking lot that we've gotten finished because we're gonna have to have a place for more additional trailers as well as workmen to park. Sure. But over here, we've got three lakes that make up the 12 acres that Moat has that uh, where we're gonna be building the aquarium. The close lake and the far lake are connected underwater uh, because they're the retention ponds for UTC. I see. So what we're doing in the middle lake is we're gonna be draining that uh, and it's about 30 feet deep. Okay. So we have to take out all the water, we have to demuck it, and we're actually building a building where there is no land right now. Wow. So uh, we've got dirt that we brought in from an area where we had some clearing out to do. Plus over on the other side of UTC, between the freeway and the, the mall, we've got 140,000 cubic yards of dirt. And all that dirt, once this uh, middle lake is drained, it'll be brought in and it'll fill up about a third of the lake. I see, okay. Yeah, so we we're wondering what's going on. We yeah, yeah. were driving by and of course we did a lot of shopping for the holidays, so everyone's right. curious and I thought, well, let's ask the source. Yeah. We need to get the details. Yeah, and, and, and this process, it's, it's getting it ready. I mean, it's a lot of civil work that has to be done. Uh, and this is gonna go on for the next um, six months. Okay. So sometime in June, we will have uh, drained the lake, brought in the dirt, packed it all down, put uh, 286 uh, pilings, Piling. 90 feet down, and that'll be the foundation upon which the aquarium's built. And this is a huge facility in general, and now you have the weight with the water and all these exactly. other variables involved, yeah, yeah. so I think the pilings Makes are necessary. Yeah. Well, this is so exciting, yeah, yeah. and again, I'm getting so many questions. Wh why are they moving the facility? And then also, what is going on? We see this huge mound of dirt over here. What's right. happening? When is it gonna be ready? I think the excitement's there, anticipation, there and now we have all their questions answered. Yeah, sure. And tell them to watch the Earth Cams that we have on, on our website and they can see the progress of the building going up starting this. Summer. I am going to start watching that. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Okay. Thank you. We really appreciate it. We know how busy you are. This is a huge project and a huge goal. So we're so proud and honored to be a part of this and to help everyone else understand what's going on. Well, thank you. We appreciate you as well. My yeah. pleasure. That was very informative. I'm so glad we got to meet with Michael Moore at Moat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. I cannot wait to see that all come out. Now, we are off to see one of my favorite new listings. It's a fabulous estate at Fern Creek Ranches. Let's go.
Welcome to Burn Creek Ranches. This is 1450 Burn Creek Loop Road, and this is a fabulous property, over 5,200 square feet under air, with an additional 900 square feet over the three car plus garage. That can be utilized for many things. Office space, which everyone's working from home now, a media room, very popular in today's society, or just some overflow space for your wonderful guests and they can have the privacy they need. You do have this beautiful, completely remodeled kitchen, brand new, I'm not even sure these appliances have been used. So if you're looking for that moved in ready home, this is it. This home features five bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. You do have an owner suite on the first main level and you have a beautifully remodeled suite on the second floor. The balcony does overlook the 10 acre home site, which is so phenomenal. And you have a sparkling pool with a spa, room for eight people with that spa in an outdoor kitchen space. There's really nothing you need to do to this home. It is move in ready. Everything has been remodeled down to the flooring. Throughout the entire home has been replaced. Fresh paint throughout. Even the lighting has been upgraded. Beautiful pendant lighting over the large island in the kitchen. Right off the kitchen, you have this beautiful open space. Can be utilized as a formal dining room and you have pocket doors that lead into a home office. Okay, so now we're gonna see the rest of the home. It just keeps going. I really feel that most people are wanting to have the entire family, even extended family, right in their own home. And this gives you that option, especially with the guest space over the garage. We're gonna go and see the owner's suite on the first floor, and then we'll show you another space upstairs, including the upgraded master bath. So this space right here can be utilized as the owner suite. You do have a full area here for an office space. You have a living room. You could use that as the bedroom and then make this your living space with a full kitchen. Access to the pool is just over to the right. So here you have an entire entertainment space full bar, balcony overlooking your entire 10 acre property. And then we have the main bedroom over here. This leads out to a balcony overlooking the pool, pond, and the rest of your property. Okay, now you cannot miss this. The entire bathroom has been updated. Free floating tub, frameless glass shower, rain head shower, separate vanities, just stunning. Even the lighting in here has been upgraded. So we hope you've enjoyed this property located at 1450 Burn Creek Loop Road and Burn Creek Ranches. A slice of paradise here in Florida on a 10 acre parcel, very private. If you're looking for tranquility, exclusivity, this is the home for you. So now we're gonna take you to a very affordable condo under 350,000 in Center Point. You're gonna love this unit. It's completely remodeled and again, what a great deal. Let's go check it out. Here we are at 4097 Center Point Place. This area of Sarasota is a very central location. You're close to downtown, close to Siesta Key, world renowned beach, and you can get easy access to I 75, which is the main artery to get you all the way to Tampa for a sporting event or if you want to head down south. One question I get is how can I buy a home in such a great central location under $350,000 in Sarasota? Well, we made it happen for this buyer. 
We found a property, purchased it for under $260,000, did not end up in a multiple offer situation. Why did we get such a great deal? Because the buyer was willing to do some light remodeling. This kitchen has been completely remodeled by our remodel company, Florida Suncoast Repair and Remodel. We made it under budget, under $75,000 for fresh paint, brand new kitchen, all new cabinets, flooring throughout, new vanities in the bathroom, new washer dryer, plumbing, so many upgrades in this property, and we stayed under budget. My buyer's budget was $350,000, and we got everything all said and done for her to move in her brand new retirement home in the center of Sarasota for $335,000. It's very possible we still have these deals out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of American Dream TV. I'm Brandy Coffee, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. If you're looking for homes in Sarasota, then you are in luck because Brandy brought her latest listings right here to us. Let's take a look. This home is currently under construction, rarely available new construction custom home located in sought after west of the trail. This Key West style home designed by award winning Phipps Home Design is located in a highly coveted neighborhood two blocks from the Intracoastal Waterway and within close proximity to the world famous Siesta Key Beach. Enjoy walking on the soft crushed rose quartz sand every morning. This home features three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a study. Entertain your favorite guests in your open kitchen with solid wood cabinetry, spacious center island, and high-end appliances. You will enjoy other amenities such as a laundry room equipped with a folding station, 1,550 square feet of covered lanai beneath the elevated home, and a two-car garage. This gorgeous home will satisfy the most discerning buyer with extensive upgrades, including oversized PGT impact windows and doors, eight foot solid doors throughout, cooler fixtures, smart home capabilities, and much more. Sixteen seventy Peregrine Drive in Sarasota, Florida. Welcome to your new home, located in the sought-after neighborhood of the Landings, situated a few miles south of downtown Sarasota and between both entrances onto Siesta Key. It is no wonder this neighborhood is considered to be ideally located. This estate home was built originally as a model home by Bamboo and boasts three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, a bonus room currently used as an office, and dance studio, a private pool, and separate living and family rooms, totaling almost four thousand square feet under air. Specialty cabinets in the dining area, kitchen, and living room were designed and installed by Eurotech. In addition to being ideally located, this amenity-rich neighborhood has so much to offer, starting with beautiful tree-lined streets that are perfect for walking or riding your bike. The landings also includes a racket club with tennis courts, a fitness center, swimming pool, and recreation center with many social activities. N30 Tidewater Shores Loop Unit 202 in Bradenton, Florida. Enjoy spectacular unobstructed views across the Manatee River from this pristine open plan unit with many smart home features, including upgrades from storm rated sound dampening windows and doors to high end stainless steel appliances to a gorgeous custom marble wall with integrated TV, sound bar, and electric fireplace. Nine foot tray ceilings and crown molding add a touch of elegance. The spacious kitchen has solid wood cabinetry and a pantry plus an oversized bar, all with quartz countertops. Bathrooms also feature quartz countertops with a tiled walk-in shower in the main bedroom and combination tub shower in the second bath. Large modern fan light combinations throughout keep things bright and airy day or night. Outside, there's a convenient private storage and a reserved parking space, ample additional open parking, and this is a maintenance-free condo situated in the Tidewater Preserve community with 24-7 gated security. A large, well-appointed lodge, clubhouse, a fitness center, huge pool, 
tennis courts, dog park, nature trail, and many on-site activities. Elsewhere in the development are a marina, kayak launch, and additional facilities for exercise and relaxation. Just outside the gate are diverse shopping and restaurant options, and it's just a short drive to Gulf Beaches and the thriving Tampa St. Pete metropolitan area. We are so excited for our buyer to enjoy this beautiful condo on the Manatee River. Thirty-seven twenty-six Allenwood Street in Sarasota, Florida. It is so difficult to find a home under five hundred thousand right now with this incredible market. Close to downtown, three bedroom, two bath. This did not last long in the market. We were able to secure this with multiple offers for a buyer with financing. It's located in Glen Oaks Country Club Estates and has an open concept with a brand new kitchen. I cannot wait for the buyers to enjoy their new home. 1205 and 1207 Southeast Six Terrace in Cape Coral, Florida. Here is a great opportunity to own a duplex in the Southeast section of Cape Coral, Florida. Both units offer two bedrooms and one and a half baths with tile flooring throughout. Each unit is currently leased at $1,200 per month. Both leases will expire in 2022. 1205 actually has a new AC unit as of 2015 and 2018, 1207 AC was replaced. These units are close to shopping, restaurants, and schools. Come check out these units today and see how you can make this duplex your next income producing property. opportunity to own this custom-built bayfront home with amazing views. This stunning estate features over 11,000 square feet of living area and is uniquely positioned on over two acres. This home features eight bedrooms and six and a half baths with a private in-law quarter including kitchen and laundry space. This tropical oasis includes a pond with a bridge overlooking the tennis court. This home is ideal for entertaining your guests with a 40 by 20 foot pool equipped with a solar heater and summer kitchen. Spend the weekend on your 150 foot fishing pier into Lemon Bay. The interior features a large kitchen and a separate dining space surrounded by all glass. Living and dining areas are perfect entertainment spaces, including a sunken fireplace and seating in the round. Ultra Grand Master Suite that includes two walk-in closets and a private den. The second floor includes a dramatic spiral staircase and custom chandelier, game area, catwalk, den with double-sided fireplace and a peekaboo glass floor. All new air conditioning systems, garage door openers with iPhone control, eight electric gate motors, new Nest thermostat, ceiling fans, new tennis court, interior and exterior paint, appliances in all kitchen, new cabinetry, marble, granite, and tile flooring, new pool equipment, electric car charging stations, home networking, camera system, pool screening and doors, four new HVAC systems, smart home features installed, LED lighting throughout, and remodeled baths. The driveway was redone in March. Bring your kayak or canoe and your dreams of owning a waterfront paradise all come true. Bring all of your toys to store in the eight-car garage. We hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Make sure and follow us on social media and engage with us in the conversation. We love to hear from you. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and we look forward to seeing you next time. But in the meantime, cheers to your... American Dream.